need advice? Taco Bob to the rescue. Time for Ask Taco Bob. On 101.1 WJRR. We are Orlando. Rock Station Ask LCTB brought to you uh, as it is every Wednesday at this time by Petty's Meats State Road 434 in Longwood just west of I-4 open Monday through Saturday 10 to 6 a favored destination of well yours truly and the great one over here I believe that uh, I heard rumors when I was in there before earlier earlier this morning they open early just for me for a, a quick let me in the back door to do some shopping the life coach and then close up and open to the public later. I heard you were in there yesterday. Might have got some smoked pork chops. Mm-hmm. Might have had them for dinner last night. Might have really enjoyed them. Don't forget, it's never too early to start thinking about Thanksgiving next month. Uh, no, they, they, they'll they get you fully covered You there. better believe Whether that. You want the ingredients or you want them to put it together for you. Patties, mm-hmm. check them out. Longwood, patties. And pour yourself a... Ice cold draft beer while you're shopping. It's it's complimentary. Nope. It's absolutely free. LC, good to see you again. Um, the guy I work with said sorry he couldn't make it again. He's always has like a conflict in schedule. Yeah, so. I understand that. One day maybe. Hey, this this text just came in. If there's a Florida man intro, why doesn't the life coach have an intro song? And what should it be? If it, it the life coach has an intro, we just heard it a minute ago. <laughs> Heard Earth Day birthday announced yesterday. Tickets selling quickly. Let's get right to these. I, I heard that you just went in and bought the full price tickets just because you're you. Yeah. And you just wanted to show, you know. Well, the VIP, luxury box suites I got. You have a luxury yeah. box suite. You going to join us this year? Well, COVID last year, I certainly was planning on being there. Okay. I just wanted like to make sure. Bedridden for yeah. almost a week. That's hated. Can we get to these questions? Please. LCTB. My wife has this new new thing where she insists that I go grocery shopping with her. Dot, 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 help. <laughs> no way in hell. Men and women were not meant to grocery shop together. I mean, grocery shopping, it's not a man's recreation. And never with the wife if you want to keep marriage as solid. Before you know it, she's going to have you use a monogram, you know, recyclable bags. You know, the cloth ones. Life coach has your back. Um, I, I shop with my wife. Uh-huh. We've been married 29 years. No comment. 29 years. Here's what you tell your wife. You just look at her and say, honey, divide and conquer. You each grab a cart. Very important. Separate carts. Then you split the list. Then go pick everything that's right on the edge of spoilage. And, you know, you get the really soft fruit. The milk. You can always find the milk in that cabinet or that little freezer case. There's always a milk in there that's, you know, a day or so away. Sometimes that day. You pick all the wrong stuff is what you're saying. Exactly. She'll never have you shopping again. Gotcha. It's done. It's perfect. She might even, you know, think it's like cute in in like a sophomore guy kind of way and give you the old... Post shopping handy on the way back. You and your wife been married 20, 20 what years? 20, 29 years. You guys, uh, if you ever get the old uh, post shopping handy on the way home? Yeah, no. Using that plastic bag. Almighty life coach. Look, our, our minds clearly do not operate on the same plane. Of course not. You're not uh, a life coach. I, I understand that. Almighty uh, life coach looking for suggestions on a good golf ball to use. Um, being the scratch player that I am, I use Titleist Pro Vs. But since you're asking golf ball advice, it's I take it you're a weekend warrior, wouldn't you think? Maybe use like a pinnacle or a rock flight, you know, top flight. Oh, I know, no, 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 I know. Use the balls that have the stripe on them that they have right out there. The, the golf courses love it when you do that. They. they so what? What? What is seriously? What's wrong? So, what's wrong with doing that? Using a They're range, range ball. balls. You're not allowed to use them. Why? That's exactly why you're not on the golf course. Thinking differently. Uh, as somebody asked, did Pat make stuffing with the pork chops? You're damn straight I did. Stove top, I take Stove it? Stove top for pork. Oh, my, yeah. my, the price of st- three nineteen a box. I know. Somebody texted that in yesterday, the price of it. Three nineteen a I box. Know. Well, for stovetop. You get it at one of the cheaper stores. LCTB. I, you know, like. 
dollar or whatever. LCTV, I think I've made a mistake. I let my girlfriend move in, and she is now starting to transition. Uh oh, transition my house and make it way too feminine. What can I do? Mm-hmm. For starters, you got to put the brakes on this. What I teach clients like you, I really want you to focus on this. What I teach clients that are like you and in this bo- is when there's an action that you don't like, there needs to be a counteraction or a reaction. For instance, like if she puts up the girly painting, you hang the bi- the bikini poster from the garage, okay? When she puts up the girly dish towel in the kitchen because you know it's coming. Up goes the neon beer sign. Nope. Up goes the, the bath towel. From the bathroom. Okay. You know, just the big old regular shower towel. Uh, then you end up, what this does, though, is it, it ends up making you meet in the middle. Got it? Pretty good advice. Where you made the mistake was letting her move in in the first place. You, 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 you give her the big no right when it's the toothbrush coming over. You know? That's where you draw the line. Uh-huh. You know yeah. where it's going after that. Yeah. First, it's a toothbrush. And then a drawer or two. Yeah, all of a sudden, four kids. Uh, my kids and I listen to you. Speaking of kids, listen to you every morning. Do you have any wise words for them? Your kids listen to this. My advice for kids listen. Maybe change that Christian station. Um, kid advice. Yeah, stay away from the smokes. Brush and floss. Clean behind your ears. Don't take after your mother or father, whoever's letting you listen right now. Uh, somebody was asking... Uh, what advice would you give the 9 to 5 Gen Z lady from yesterday? Also, where can I get that audio? Oh, uh, there's a girl who had her first 9 to 5 job. Yeah, she's on TikTok. You mm-hmm. can find it there. Yeah, she needs some counseling. Um, <laughs> Have you ever worked a traditional 9 to 5? Yeah, I mean, everybody does at some point. I mean, aren't your, off, your office hours are like 10.30 until uh, 11.30, and then you have an afternoon session like for an hour and a half? I have like bank hours that are nothing like bank hours. It's like 11.30 to about noon, and then I'll then I'll do, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That's what I thought. Need your help, LC. Uh, wife is nagging me to fire our landscaping crew and start mowing myself to save money and shave off some LBs. You got to help me, all caps. Um, I got you covered. You can use the one that I've mentioned before, which is the allergic to grass. But if she's asking you to shave off pounds, it seems like you guys have been married a while, so she knows that you're not effective, that you're not uh, allergic to grass. Here's what you do: just tell her it's not cost, it's not cost effective for you. Gas costs are up. She sees that driving, correct? Sure. There's one for the list. Then you search the most expensive lawn equipment out there. You know, and just show her the totals. Like you, you search. She has no idea. You search that commercial deck mower for like twelve k. You know, <laughs> top notch edgers, weed eaters, blowers. Hell, search the price of a stump grinder and a bobcat. Tell her you need that for the yard work. Trust me. And then your closer, okay? Because you are going to have her when you show her that price tag. She's going, oh my god. Well, you could pay for these landscapers for life with that. Then you throw in time spent out there mowing. Is not time spent with her. Oh yes. it, yeah, yeah. The play on emotion. Chicks yeah. fall for that every yeah. time. If yeah. none of that works, just explain to her the cost of the hospital bills when you have a fatal heart attack. Okay, <laughs> there's always that. How are we on time? I think you can slide another one in here, LC. <laughs> uh, got a couple. Too many is what we got. I don't even know where that went. I had one. You wouldn't have so many if you had longer office hours. Uh, <laughs> 11.30 is tough at times. Uh, what the hell? We had an organization over here, and now there's not. I asked Brandon to have that Yeah, stuff. That's, I think that's where your problem is. Uh, there's the wife. Uh, well, we had time for one uh, more. Oh, some bitch. Girlfriend leaves Christmas light. Okay, okay, LCTB, my girlfriend leaves Christmas decorations up all year round. How do I tell her she's the one? <laughs> Write it out in Christmas lights. They look like a big heart with a U in the middle. Don't judge, people. You know what they say, one man's trash, another man's treasure. Not saying she's trash, sir. And wipe behind your ears or something? Yeah, stay away from the smokes, kids. Smokes! All right, I got to get. Come on. Yo, B, let's roll. Thank you.